Hello there everyone and welcome to this video. I just wanted to show you guys something that I did with this machine. This is a PC XT clone and uh, I wasn't too happy about how loud the PC speaker was so I did a the potentiometer mod. This is um, a logarithmic uh, potentiometer. It's a 2k uh, logarithmic one. Uh, and I reckon that a, a 1k one will be enough, one like these, but this one was sent to me. I asked for a logarithmic and they sent me a, a linear one, so I'm not using this one. Um, and a 1k will be enough, but uh, I'm using a 2k one logarithmic. Um, so basically this acts as a variable resistor and you can uh, adjust the volume of your PC speaker. So I was using, um, instead of this, I was using a sound card. Uh, I basically have this, uh, this is a, an ATI Stereo FX, which was an early ca a card by uh, ATI. And uh, they also did this sound card back in the day. Uh, and this is Sound Blaster 1.5 and Game Blaster compatible. Unfortunately, it does not have uh, a PC speaker header. Uh, some sound cards uh, in the early 90s had a, a small header which you can route the uh, PC speaker signal into the card and you could use a mixer or the volume on the card so you can listen to the PC speaker sounds and through, through your headphones instead of through the uh, speaker on the front of the machine. So I was using, because this, this one does not have a, a header, I was using a, a Sound Blaster Pro 2 and then I was using the uh, line-in of this card um, to, to make the, uh, the connection between the two. But uh, that would take me um, an additional ISO slot, which I do have to free now, but I have been wanting to uh, do this mod for a long time. So basically I, I have um, an Ethernet card here. This is a, a one megabyte uh, RAM card that I built uh, from low tech. Um, I built this card um, to give me uh, upper memory blocks so I can load TSRs and that kind of stuff. So this is the uh, ATI Stereo FX. Then I have an Oak VGA card here, which uh, does have awesome um, CGA and EGA compatibility, which is very important. Uh, I, I've been recently very surprised with the uh, with the uh, uh, capability that it has to emulate CGA. Then I have the uh, a multi IO 16-bit card, which I'm just using the floppy hair. I had to uh, kind of ghetto mod this card because it, it wasn't um, uh, on on cold boot when I, I turned on the machine. It wasn't activating. Uh, and it wasn't working so uh, basically what, what I did was to run two wires uh, between the um, ground and 5 volt a portion of the 8-bit card up to the 16-bit uh, part and now the card the card just boots fine um, on cold boot and it's everything is available right at the start and then I have also right there the XT IDE uh, with a compact flash card acting as an R drive. So basically, this is my system. And uh, yeah, I wanted to uh, get rid of those loudening beeps and boops. So I did this. And uh, on the background, I have um, the lid up, which I'm now going to close slightly so that you can see this is a Grand Prix circuit. And this was one of the games that probably was very very annoying uh, to play on the PC speaker. It's running on demo mode now, but I'm gonna turn I'm gonna turn the volume up. And this is loud. This is at this at this point the uh, the the pot is not doing any kind of signal attenuation. And yeah, imagine playing this at night. So now, I can do this. I 
I'm still turning it down. There's still some sound coming. I can hear it. You probably won't, but... And there. Totally. Uh, it's not even still fully turned uh, to the minimum. So probably a 1K pot would be enough. Uh, but it's, it's completely silent now. So, uh, yeah. Basically, no more uh, deafening beeps and boops. And you can... Uh, certainly turn this to a suitable and uh, nice volume level that won't annoy something like this would be more than enough so yeah this is my uh, PC, speak PC speaker mod thanks for watching